Hi, I'm Gavin Harrison, and here's the new Protean snare drum from Sona. And we've worked for 14 months to develop this exciting new snare drum, and I'm going to show you all the features of it now. The snare drum comes in two sizes. This is the 14 by 5 and a quarter, and then there's another one which is 12 by 5. Now, I want to show you the hybrid bearing edges that both of these drums have. On the top, is a rounded bearing edge. This is a, like the vintage style. And in fact, Sona haven't made a rounded bearing edge since 1975. This will give you a nice woody, warm tone. There's more skin in contact with the edge. On the bottom is the sharp 45 degrees uh, bearing edge. And you know, the, the bottom head and the top head on a snare drum do two really different jobs. The bottom head is all about passing on sensitivity and articulation of your ghost notes. The top head is a completely different story and that's why there's hybrid bearing edges. Now, both drums are made from hand-selected premium birch wood. They are six millimeters and six ply, so it's quite a thin shell. And they're made with Sona's unique cross-laminated tension-free process. Now, this also features hybrid hoops, and this is the um, S hoop on the top here, and on the bottom is a triple flange hoop with some spaces cut out, and this means we can take advantage of the fabulous Sona uh, new strainer called Dual Glide, and this means it's very easy to change the snare wires, like so. Now, I designed three new snare wires that go with this drum and the same three wires that go with the 12 inch drum. This first one is what we call straight eight. This is steel strands running straight eight down the center of the snare wires. This gives a nice clear crisp bite to the sound. snares come with this box and inside the box we have the bronze EQ snare wires. This again is eight strand, four, then a gap of four and then another four. And this gives you a very dry direct sound. Of course it's so easy to, um, you just put it on and it's done. And the other snare wire that we came up with is the uh, brass. This is what we call the spacer. The snares, as you can see, are spaced out. There's a wire, then a gap, then a wire, then a gap, and so on, and a double gap in the middle. And this gives you quite a warm tone. Something else that comes with this drum, and something that can take good advantage of the S-hoop, are the dampening rings. Light, medium, and heavy. And of course, the light being the thinnest of all. Now these just slide in under the hoop. And the hoop, because of the way the S-hoop is designed, that will stay under the hoop and it's impossible to fly out. You can't even shake it out. Now that will provide a very small amount of dampening. The medium, which is thicker, will of course provide more, and so on and so forth to the heavy dampening, 
which will give you the most muted sound of all of the three rings. And of course you can stack them one on top of the other, which will give you even more options. And in my view, the best way to dampen the snare drum is absolutely the same all the way round, and that's what uh, the rings give you. They also move slightly. When you hit the drum, you'll see, if, well, if you were watching it in slow motion, you'd see that the, the ring jumps slightly, so it acts like a gate. And it's repeatable. So if you, you're playing, you've got the heavy dampening ring on, and that sounds great. And then the next song, you want a nice ringing snare, you take them all off or you put the light one in. And then you want to go back to the heavy dampening, you've just got to slide the ring back under the hoop. Now, we didn't want to stop there, so <laughs> I designed the Protean tuning key. Now, they're bright red for a reason. That's because when they're lying on the floor and there's, you know, dark light on the stage, you can actually see them. I've always liked the idea of going finger tight. And in the old days, we would do this, get your fingers covered in grease and rub your fingers against the thread, sort of tear your fingers up. And that's why there is this protruding part on the top of the key. That means you can go finger tight just by, you know, turning the top part. Okay, now on the heaviest dampening ring, on the underside of that, there is some very faint numbers. And this is just, you know, for my sake, so I do the tightening of the screws in the most logical fashion. Now, making turns that are only about a quarter to half a turn together, exactly together, I twist it like that. Then I go to number two, twist it the same amount, about a quarter of a turn. I go to number three, quarter turn, exactly together. Number four, exactly together. Number five, exactly together. Always in small amounts, you know, eighth of a turn, quarter of a turn. And I go all around the drum. The drum is absolutely even in tension. Both these snare drums come with a beautiful case uh, designed by Hardcase. Um, and when you open it up, this is the 12 inch version. Here's the drum inside, it's got the, uh, the dampening rings already installed. And in the bottom of the case is the Protean snare wire box containing the other two snare wires. And the Protean keys are buried into the foam there. This keeps all the stuff in one box, nice and safe. Now, the drums are available in two formats, standard and premium. In the standard format, you get the drum, the dampening rings, the two keys, and the straight eight steel snare wires. In the premium package, you get all the same stuff, plus you get the hard case and the two extra snare wires in the black box. When I had the chance to you know, design this snare drum together with Sona. It's based on my experience of what I've done in the last 30 years playing professionally. The shell material, the bearing edges, the dampening rings, the eight strand snare wires, all those variations are, are something that I want to have with me all the time. So the name of the drum seemed applicable, Protean, because it's versatile and you can change a lot of the features very quickly.